A presentation brought to you by Group 7, Cabrera, Lim, and Macarambon. The Philippine Forest Turtle Sieben Rockella Lightensis The Philippine Forest Turtle is a species of turtle endemic only to the Philippines that can be found in the islands of Palawan. Physical features of the species include its upper exoskeleton or its carapaces that have a brown or blackish color. Their carapaces can extend to a length of 8.3 inches. They also have a ginkgo-shaped vertebral scute and a white or yellow line crossing toward its head to behind its ears. It is a part of the subfamily Geomydinae of the Geomydidae family. The Philippine forest turtle's scientific name is Sibonrochula latensis, but it was first described as Heosemus latensis by American herpetologist Edward Harrison Taylor, who discovered these turtles in the area of southern Leyte. In the rediscovery of the species in 2004, its true geographical distribution was then confirmed to be from Palawan. Over the years since the rediscovery of the Philippine forest turtle, various reports have been made about the species. The principal report, however, is how it is now listed as critically endangered under the Philippine National Law Republic Act No. 9147 and included in the world's 25 most endangered tortoises and freshwater turtles. The implementation of this Republic Act makes the possession and trade of the species illegal. Despite this, there have been numerous reports of illegal trade involving the Philippine forest turtle taking place around the country and even internationally. Many studies and investigations were set to uncover where these illegal tradings were stemming from. In 2005, a monitoring investigation conducted by researchers, markets in Manila were identified to be illegally selling pets and wild animals. This included the Philippine forest turtle. Species were being sold in numbers in not only the Manila market, but also in the Chinese market. This furthered the findings and information on domestic and international trade of the species. Hunting and habitat destruction has put the Philippine freshwater turtle on the brink of extinction. And as a response, Catala Foundation Incorporation sets up the Philippine Freshwater Turtle Conservation Program, or what we call PFTCP. Generally, the program implements several conservation measures to protect the species. Since 2006, implementation of the Philippine Freshwater Turtle Conservation Program has been covered and institutionalized with the Catala Foundation signing a memorandum of agreement with the Biodiversity Management Bureau of DNR. According to the article in 2011, KFI was issued a clearance under the Strategic Environmental Plan of the Palawan Council for Sustainable Development that covers implementation of the PFTCP in Palawan. The program specifically has three main objectives, conservation, research, and education of the Philippine freshwater turtle. For the PFTCP's 2015 annual report, you were able to successfully address the following objectives. Quantify food items and assess the relative composition of the different food items from the animals to different habitats. Come up with a quality nutritional diet to support conservation breeding. Conduct control mating experiments. Conduct research on nesting sites, incubation time, incubation temperature and humidity. Improve quarantine facilities and water quality at the Catala Institute for Ecology and Biodiversity Conservation. Conserve confiscated Palawan forest turtles. Continue capacitating the Protected Area Management Board in the management of the protected watershed area in Barangay de Marao, Rojas, 
continuing their wardening scheme for the protected watershed area in Barangay Dumarao, Rojas. Continue the conduct of research on species and habitat conditions in Dumarao. And finally, attend publications, reports, and conferences. The photos are evidence of what the program accomplished based on their objectives in their report. In 2015, despite a broad and general awareness on the legal wildlife trade, the Philippine forest turtle trade never stopped, with the evidence of four confiscations in a span of just two months. With the confiscation of almost 4,000 turtles on their way to the legal pet trade in China, 1,890 acres were secured for the protection of the critically endangered Palawan forest turtle in the Philippines. This effort is being led by Katala Foundation Incorporation, KFI, with the support of Turtle Conservancy, Rainforest Trust, and Global Wildlife Conservation as the 3,907 Palawan forest turtles among the confiscated turtles represented a large portion of the estimated total adult population of the species. In addition, the program has taken in these confiscated turtles, who were promptly released after being nursed back to health. The swift actions of these programs involved resulted in a low mortality rate of about 11%, with most turtles released and monitored. The municipal government of Mendoza, with the assistance of the municipal government of Rojas, Palawan, designated this acreage as a protected watershed. This is an effect to create a wildlife protection area, which will directly benefit the turtles. An additional 23 acres of land was purchased outright from local farmers to prevent further agricultural development and restore its original riverside rainforest habitat. The program also starts captive breeding for these endangered species. In 2018, the conservation of the Philippine forest turtle proves to be on the right track with the two hatchings of the turtles in captive breeding. According to Dr. Sabine Shop, the director of PFTCP, the first hatching is the first recorded egg from captive parents of the freshwater turtles with support from the Wildlife Reserve Singapore, WRS, with the second hatching as a proof that their intensified research on breeding in a controlled environment is possible. We conclude that a Philippine forest turtle extinction must be actioned as soon as possible. We need to recreate and create more campaigns to reduce threats to biodiversity, to create more effective conservation programs, to inform and inspire local constituencies, and to support long-term conservation for the local species in the Philippines. It could be a powerful tool in the conservation of the Philippine forest turtle. Knowledge of the specific habitat requirements of the Philippine forest turtle is still insufficient. And with the current understanding that the species prefers shaded, shallow to deep, cool forest streams that are slow, flowing with soft bottom and banks, habitat protection should be a priority. We know that there are campaigns being launched in other local agencies working on conservation of the species. But those alone are not enough to save the species. As what is seen as the evidence from our research, educating the public and enforcing hefty punishments for illegal turtle hunting must be implemented as well. As what the experts have stated, this animal is critically endangered and is among the 25 most endangered turtle species in the world. It should be the duty of the country and its citizens to protect the animal. How can you help save the Philippine forest turtle from extinction? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.